Okay, welcome to week 28, assignment two. What we're going to be doing this week is we're going to be using another one of the features of PowerPoint, which is called Smart Art. And what we were going to do is we're going to um, make a graphic about the five layers of the atmosphere. Each of the layers will have two links, uh, two facts, and you will make a link to each one of them so that the graphic at the end will have all five types of the atmosphere or layers of the atmosphere. It'll have two facts about each one and there will be one link. I will show you how to do the first one and then you will be able to finish the other four. So to do this, you can go ahead and open up PowerPoint, wherever it is that you have it. You can use either version. They should be pretty close, uh, either the online or the downloaded version. So for the online version, you'll go to My SSO. You'll open up or click on um, Office 365 and then go to PowerPoint. I'm going to go ahead and click these and get rid of them. All right. Um, so what you are going to do is you're going to go to insert and over here it's shapes, icons, and smart art. So we're going to go to smart art. So you can see here that there's a whole bunch of different ones that you can do, but since I'm doing types, so it's kind of like a list. It can be like this one, or it can be this one, um, even something like this. So you're making some kind of list. Hierarchy doesn't work because that's kind of like president, vice president, senate, that type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. You can use this one if you want. Um, but the first thing that you'll notice is that when it comes in, first of all, there's only two. And how many did I tell you? We are going to have five. So what you have to do is you have to click in this little box here and you can, um, okay, so let me show you how I did that. So once I have, I'm clicked here, if I hit enter, it puts it, indented but i don't want it indented because i want i don't want three facts i want another box so if i hit the backspace it will give me a new box and then we're going to hit and we're going to hit tab and it will give me one so we're making You have to use the tab and the backspace to get all of these in here. I know it's kind of odd, but it is the way it works online. So now I have five, I can put the five types and then inside of each one, I have two facts. Okay. So, um, and then when you're done, you, we can, uh, make this bigger, smaller, whatever. So for right now, I'm just going to um, leave that. Now, I said that you had to change the color. So to change the color, you have to go to Smart Art, and I can change the color. Here's Smart Art Styles that they already have in here. So like I can make it like this, I can make whatever. I can change the colors and choose one of them that it's going to do. So, I mean, you can do a colorful one if that's what you want. I do not care which one you choose. Okay, I'll choose this one just because orange and blue. All right, and now what you'll do is you'll go over here and you will type in types or no, layers, sorry, layers of the atmosphere. Okay, so 
you can find a graphic. Um, it's probably easier for you to find some kind of text because it's going to give you the information. So you can see here that I have the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, the exosphere, and then the ionosphere I did not include because it's not a distinct layer. So it should be exonosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, and troposphere. Please do them in order. I don't care if you go from high to low, low to high. It does not matter to me, but do them in order. So we're going to go with troposphere. So I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint and you have to type. You can't go over here and click and try to type in here. That's what this little box is for. So I have to click here and if I type, if I put it in, it tells me what it is. Okay. Um, you can also just go here and just type either way. Okay, so now once I've done that, then I'm going to go back here and I need to read this and I have to come up with two facts about it. So I'm going to say it's the lowest layer and most clouds are here. I don't need anything extravagant. I just want you to have a basic idea of what it is. So we're going to put lowest. Oops, hold on. Well, I could have left it there, but I didn't. Okay, lowest layer, and then most clouds are here. Okay, I don't want huge long words because it's going to get lost. Okay, then the other thing, the last thing you have to do is if you highlight the word troposphere and you go to insert link see the it comes up here and um i'm gonna go here and let's go here and find a link to just information about the troposphere so i'll use the nasa one you can use the NASA one for each one of them as long as it is separate. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to hit Control C. I am going to go back to my PowerPoint. I am going to put it in here and I am going to hit Insert. So now I have changed the color. I've changed the style. I have one of my layers of the atmosphere and two facts about it. Now it is up to you to put the other four with two facts for each one. Once you are done, you can take and make it bigger, whatever you're going to do, and that's the way it shows up. It only shows this box when it is clicked. So do not worry about this box. Once you click off of it, it goes away. And that's what I want you to get done for assignment two, is working on using the features within PowerPoint that will help make your presentations more engaging and um, with more information and not boring. If you have any problems or questions, please let me know. Message me. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if not, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and to, I hope to see you soon.